Preconception is probably one of the most important times for nutrition. Um, it has a big impact. Research has shown that good nutrition prior to pregnancy helps to reduce birth defects, and it also actually helps to prevent problems with chronic disease in the children later in life that are actually born to those women. So it's, it's a vital, critical time to actually you know, make steps to improve what you eat. We need to supplement with folic acid or a folate. And folic acid is a nutrient which helps to reduce neural tube defects, such as spina bifida, which is an open spine at birth. And this development of the baby occurs even prior to a woman knowing that she's pregnant. So folic acid is something that is included in a prenatal pill once they find out that they're pregnant. But it's really most important prior to even getting that positive pregnancy test. And so the amount that's recommended is about 400 micrograms. And it's what you would find in like a vitamin mineral supplement. So that's important. But you want to take the supplement in addition to choosing a variety of folate-rich foods. So for example, citrus fruits, oranges are really important, orange juice, spinach and leafy greens. And then there's also a variety of whole grain products that are actually fortified with folic acid. So choosing a healthy diet with a variety of foods, including these, is a good way to um, ensure that they're getting adequate folic acid. Up until about your mid-30s, is when your body's still depositing calcium. So adequate dairy intake, or if you happen to follow a, a vegetarian like food plan, then you know fortified products, soy-based products that are fortified. So during those years, calcium intakes are extremely important. And just developing healthy habits, because really they've shown teen years into your early 20s, you know, those habits that you're establishing at that point in life are often the ones you carry throughout your life, you know, the rest of your life. So establishing healthy habits during those years is extremely important. Eating a variety of foods that's based on plant products, fruits and vegetables, whole grains, um, making sure that you're getting adequate protein intake, whether you choose animal products or, you know, plant-based products for that protein. And so those are key for those 20s and early 30s. 30 kind of years. Then into your 30s, you pretty much established what your health is. Your body's no longer storing, let's say, nutrients, especially the minerals. And you're trying to make sure that you preserve those nutrients. So not only do you need to have, you know, adequate intake, continued adequate intake, so some of those nutrients I was mentioning, adequate protein to maintain your muscle mass, you're no longer building it adequate calcium intake, vitamin D, to make sure you're retaining those nutrient stores you have in your bones. But you also want to be making sure that you're maintaining your weight because you're no longer growing during that period of time, you know, in terms of development. So you, you want to maintain a healthy weight. I want to remind women that registered dietitians are really an excellent source of information for personalized nutrition counseling. And Mercy Hospital Folsom, as well as Mercy in general, has a variety of dietitians functioning in, in, in different roles and you know we're there to support them